Hey guys, so today I'm going to do an update on the products that I've hit pan on video. I have done this twice, but I figured I should share with you guys kind of what I've hit pan on that is currently still in my collection, and these are items that will probably be on their way out of my collection as well, because when I hit pan on items, I like to finish them and use them up. That is how I roll. I not want to hit pan and then kind of move on. When I hit pan and see that finish line, I want to go for it. So I have my items here. A lot of these are eyeshadows due to my 18 and 2018 Project Pan. And then I also have some other kind of face powder products. And I have some liquids. When I talk about liquids for hitting pan, you'll see what I'm talking about. But let's just go into kind of have everything laid out. I'm just going to grab and go. So you guys know last year I was trying to finish my Lorac Pro palette. And I have done quite a bit of pan on this thing. Still working on it. And it's my goal to continue to use it up. Look at all that pan, guys. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? But, um, yeah, so I have finished all of these eyeshadows, and I have three left, black, deep purple, and slate. All have hit pan on. I have deep purple on my eyes today with some other eyeshadows just to kind of make it a little bit more wearable. But, yeah, happy to have that almost completely panned up. Then I have in my Z palette, which is right here, this is a bunch of like other random eyeshadows, bits and bobs I'm working on. If you hear squeals, that's my son. He is behind me taking a nap and I figured this is my only time to film for like the week. So I'm but pumping out some videos for you guys today because, you know, I have a lack of sleep and a lot of energy. So I need to burn it and film some videos. This hair is like driving me insane. But um, from the Walking on Eggshells Wet n Wild palette, sneak peek, I used up the lid shade and it's still working on that highlight shade right there. So you can see some good pan. This is from the Urban Decay Naked palette. It is in the shade Naked. Some good pan there. And then right here I have from the Balm. He makes some weird noises when he sleeps, guys. Um, from the balm, I'm not sure what the shade is. I'll leave it down below. But I got a little sink bowl from my Ipsy bag, and I used that up. And then from Ulta, the Ulta brand, this is the Adore blush. They no longer sell it, but I have hit paint on there. And that is the majority of what's in my palette. I'm really happy to be starting to use up stuff in the C palette. They, okay, so when we all got Z palettes because it was like the cool new thing to do, depot your shades, I thought I would be able to use and pay more attention to my shades, but I really don't gravitate towards this as often as I thought I would, so I'm trying to use these up and then just kind of get rid of the palette because I don't really gravitate towards my eyeshadows in a Z palette. And then, oh gosh, almost dropped my phone. In my Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette, you guys might have saw, I hit pan on the shade Paranoia, which is this pinky purple shade right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. There you go. And yep, hit pan on that eyeshadow, which was really fun to play with. I'm not a big pinky purple eyeshadow, so that was cool. Um, I have hit pan on my Sephora Colorful Let It Snow eyeshadow. And this is a matte white eyeshadow that I use as a brow bone shade. And there's a little bit of a pan right there. My Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I have hit pan on the shade Strange, which is this white shade right there. And yeah, I should definitely be able to use this up because it's a very easy wearable all over the lid. Um, base shade or just as a highlight brow bone shade. Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I used the shade Earl Grey and you can see the pan right there. And then in my Smashbox Contour palette which was in a Rolling Project 10 pan. I don't know if it was this last time or two times ago and I love this palette. I have hit pan on the highlight shade and the bronze shade right there. I would totally repurchase this once I have finished it up. Just been a really a great palette for me to use. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio palette. I love this thing as well. You guys saw I have hit pan on dim light. I've also used two other full size of dim lights up in my collection. Hopefully by the end of this year I can hit pan on the radiant light and incandescent lights, but crushed fingers, we'll see about that one. In my Tarte Bling It On cheek palette, I have hit pan 
on the shade Doll Face, which it's a tiny bit of pan, but it counts. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's right there. Right there. But yep, hit pan on a blush. Exciting. That's like two blushes in my collection I've hit pan on. And then in my Too Faced, the Black Book of Bronzers, which I am so glad I got this back in like 2015. Um, this I have hit pan on two shades. One I've completely used up. The, that one is Beach Bunny, which is right here. Then I've hit pan on Endless Summer, which is a darker kind of, I don't know, darker bronzer. I don't know what I was trying to say. But yeah, hit pan on that, use that up, and I'm working on hitting pan on Pink Leopard, which has been a really fun bronzer to use as a blush for me the past couple weeks, so that is exciting. And then moving on to the three liquid products that I've hit pan on, and when I mean hit pan, I mean look at all that air and bubbles. So this is from Stila, this is the Magnificent Glitter in Sunset Cove, and I absolutely love this for topping my eyeshadows. It's just a really pretty pink iridescent shimmer. I will give you guys a quick swatch. But yeah, I have been loving using this, and this is my favorite color that I have picked up. really like that. Then I have from Becca this, the Shimmering Skin Perfector, what is it? Spotlight in Opal, and look at all of that pan, or side of the container. But yep, working on that. And then this last thing here is from Too Faced, this is the Born This Way Concealer. And you can see random like marks, there's one right there, there's another one that are me scraping this thing so it's definitely getting close to being used up. Those are all the items in my collection currently that I have hit pan on. I'm really excited to have this much pan in my collection. Hopefully they will be used up by the end of the year and I'll have more pan to share with you guys in a couple months or so. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!